हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल अडेप्ट लर्न एंड ग्रो टूगेदर बिफोर वी मूव अहेड एंड स्टार्ट विद आर नेक्स्ट सीरीज आई वुड लाइक टू टेक अ पॉज हेयर एंड थैंक यू ऑल फॉर द सपोर्ट एंड लव यू ऑल हैव शोन फॉर आर अजाइल एंड स्क्रम सीरीज टूडे वी आर लॉन्चिंग आर न्यू सीरीज विच इज नेम्ड एज एक्सेल फंक्शन सीरीज In this series we will cover how excel's inbuilt functions are applied and used Friends you must have heard about MS Excel more frequently in your strategy discussions or meetings you might have seen your colleague using excel or you might be using it yourself MS Excel is one of the most widely used tool for data analysis data modeling data visualization calculations data entry record keeping and task automation ms excel is used across different industries from finance to manufacturing to healthcare to retail etc and across different departments such as accounts it analytics operations etc since excel is a vast topic for discussion we will limit ourselves and will focus completely on understanding the important functions of excel all the functions mentioned here are important and as per my experience these will be helpful in both personal and official task management at home it can be used for budget creation expense tracking managing the grocery list tax calculation etc at office it can be used for tracking sales inventory management data analysis and customer and product insight generation so let's begin and i welcome you all to the exciting world of excel before we start our discussion on excel functions let's go through a quick introduction on excel toolbars to open ms excel go to windows start present at the bottom left side and search for ms excel open the ms excel application and it will open an excel workbook with one blank worksheet this worksheet would be similar to what is being shown on the screen at the top of the worksheet the place which is highlighted on the screen it is known as the title bar it gives us the name with which the workbook is saved in the system in case the workbook has a default name the same can be updated at the time of saving the file moving to quick access bar this provides shortcut and easy access to the commonly and frequently used commands such as save undo redo spelling check etc you can also customize this bar as per your usage moving ahead let us discuss ribbon bar and commands ribbon bar consists of tabs such as file home insert draw etc each tab consists of a group of commands as shown in the picture when home tab is clicked the command section shows a group of commands which included formatting of the font alignment of the page clipboard commands and conditional formatting etc moving to the formula bar using this bar you can insert a value and edit a value in any given cell we can use user defined formulas and inbuilt functions as well whatever is present in any given cell whether it's a formula or it's a function or value that gets displayed on the bar 
moving to columns columns run vertically from top to bottom and are named by letters such as a b c etc in our case the highlighted part belongs to column g the vertical lines in the excel sheet define the column moving to rows rows run horizontally from left to right and are named as 1 2 3 etc in our case the highlighted part belongs to row 4 the horizontal lines in the excel sheet define the row moving to cell intersection of rows and columns define the cell here the box highlighted captures one single cell they are named as per the row and columns and in our case g4 is the name of the cell where g is the column where g is the column and 4 is the row number moving to vertical scroll it helps in moving the excel up and down vertically in case of large files the data extends to large number of rows and to get a view of that data user can adjust the vertical scroll bar moving to horizontal scroll bar it helps in moving the excel left and right horizontally in case of large files the data extends to large number of columns and to get a view of data user can adjust the horizontal scroll bar moving to worksheet when a new excel is opened by default one worksheet is added for the user if you need more sheets then that can be done using this plus sign moving to status bar it provides zoom in and zoom out options and provide access to different modes such as normal page layout and page break i would like to thank you all for watching this video please like subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications